Well, good morning. I'm reading from the book of Job this morning, chapter 12. And in verse 23, Job tells his friends this, He increaseth the nations and destroyeth them. He enlargeth the nations and straighteneth them again. He taketh away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth and causeth them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way. They grope in the dark without light, and he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man. You ever look at a map of the world and look at all those nations and think about <clears throat> some group of people like the League of Nations or the United Nations all sitting around a big table and deciding where these bounds and borders should be. Well, the Bible tells us that ultimately it is God who has determined those things. It says, He increaseth the nations and He destroyeth them. God is at work in this world, and He always has been. He's at work in the lives and the hearts of men and women, and especially in the, the, the lives of, of leaders, of presidents and kings and queens and parliamentarians and all of these kinds of things. And God is the one who determines whether a nation is able to increase. Well, what's that mean? Does that mean move its borders out? Well, maybe. I mean, think about Great Britain increasing into all the colonies all over the world. But it also can mean the, the increase of the land, the production of the land, the uh, industrial revolution of the land, the ability of a particular nation to either be growing its GDP or to have that reducing and falling. And it says, he increases the nations and he destroys them. He enlargeth the nations, and he straighteneth them again. And we see this happen throughout time. Nations that grow strong and powerful, and nations that go back down. And think about the former Soviet Union, and Russia, and all that happened with that during the late 80s and 90s, as compared to what it is today. It's a really interesting thing, and it's one of those things I think that we should always keep in mind as we pray for our, our country, for our world. And that is that God has a plan, that God is working in the midst of all of this. Acts chapter 17 and verse 26, the Bible says, And he hath made of one blood <clears throat> all nations of men <clears throat> for to dwell on all the face of the earth. We all came from Adam. We're all kin from one blood. And so he says there that this is where all the nations come from. And he hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. So God has times in mind for nations and he has boundaries in mind for nations. And sometimes nations get absorbed by other nations. And sometimes nations get, get their, their boundaries scooted out or changed around in different ways. Well, God <clears throat> has a plan for all of that, it says. But here's the point of everything that God is doing. It says in Acts chapter 17 verse 27 that they should seek the Lord if haply they might feel after him and find him though he be not far from every one of us can you hear that if haply they might feel after him and find him why that, that, that's kind of a strange way to say that it's not like a laser focus that these nations have the ability to zero in on Jesus they're kind of groping around well if we go back to Job it says in verse 24 of chapter 12 he taketh away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth and causeth them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way. This is what lost people do. They wander around aimlessly. Worse than that, it says in verse 25, They grope in the dark without light, and he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man. Now look around. Look around our world right now. There are some really powerful people who think that they have this magnificent plan in place for this country or that country or maybe for a whole bunch of countries together. And yet, as you look at it, it looks like to me that most of them are just staggering around, groping in the darkness like a drunken man. Here's what we should pray. We should pray in that in the, these nations and, and our nations staggering around like a drunken man, wandering around, that they might bump into Jesus. Because that's God's plan. He wants for men and women, boys and girls, as they're groping to find Jesus. Because the reality is, is that He is not far from every one of us.
God bless you. Let's pray for our nation today.